Good morning and welcome to the weekly vlog. If you are new here, hello, my name's Adele. I post two or three videos a week. This video is a vlog, it's a long vlog. I hope that you can stick around and stay to the end. If you're not new here and you're a returning subscriber, hello, welcome back. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. I just woke up, guys. <laughs> it's Saturday and it's nearly 10 a.m. I never sleep in, but I had honestly the worst sleep of my life last night. I think yesterday was just an exhausting day. And then I also had terrible, terrible nightmares. I had nightmares of my nails becoming loose and falling out and I was in pain. It wasn't because I was sad about my nails. It was because I was in pain, it was fucked. Anyway, I don't know what the plan is today. It's actually a beautiful day outside, but it's way too late for me to go to the gym. So I think maybe we could do a walk. I'll see what mum and Franklin wanna do. We are going for a walk, mum's yeah. coming. Frank, where are you? Show everyone your collar. No clothes, oh. <laughs> no clothes for him, we'll see you when we get back. It's very sunny, so we've got sunglasses today. And I've got to show you my fit. I'm in shorts, it's the one I got yesterday. I love the color. I feel like I may be a bit hot with a long sleeve. Nice color though. But it's, it's spring colors, so I'm excited. We're back, we're sweaty. That was good though, Franklin's inhaling the water. Mum says she's got sore toenails. <laughs> oh. And I said, do you need a pedicure? And she said, yes. <laughs> now I'm going to make us brekkie. And then we're going to clean, do the grocery shopping, and then I'm going to edit. That's the plan. Breakfast is done. We're also doing the shopping list as well. Mum likes a lot of cinnamon. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Mine. We're cleaning out the pantry now. We got into, we've, we're on a side quest. We got distracted. <laughs> we wrote the shopping list and then I'm cleaning this out. And you know how I got sent some fairy floss? Look at what happened to some of them. In our pantry, they evaporated. I'm shook. Maybe moisture got in there and killed them. They're like <laughs> tiny little things. Anyway, I'm just going through anything that's out of date. I'm in the mood to do this in here, in the bathroom and in my bedroom. Not the things that are out of date in my bedroom, but like just mess. I'm feeling like a spring clean. It feels like spring today. Ready, I'm showered. I'm in a summer fit. I've got my bubble tea takeaway. I actually love the fact that I can make it at home now. I'm gonna put my sunnies on. It's a beautiful day here, guys. I just couldn't be bothered with makeup though. I'm just doing the groceries and editing. So save my makeup for a day where I actually do some fun things. Maybe tomorrow we can go to that carnival. I feel like I've cracked the code, guys. This is just a huge vibe. I've made like a little drink holder with the bag. Sorry, I know that the trolley's really annoying. Anyway, it's so sunny. The vibes are good today. And just like that, we're done, guys. I nearly made it to the end of my bubble tea. <laughs> I do have to quickly go to the other side and get some pork and veal mints from Woolworths and some walnuts because they're the only two things I didn't grab from here. I don't know why but Woolworth seems to be the only one that has pork and veal mints. Everything is away. I also made mum her own bubble tea. I brewed it earlier. Mum, lo mum loves it too. And then I got us Pukero because what do you have a fork for me? Yes I do. <gasps> Thank you. I'm gonna also buy mum her own cup because... Where's the avocado? There. One with avo, one without. <laughs> okay, now the plan is to edit, finish editing the podcast and edit the vlog tonight so that I don't have to do it tomorrow. And I'm going to stay focused and I'm going to get it done. And I think blessing in disguise because the camera was fucked the day that I recorded the podcast. I don't have to edit the vodcast, so that's one less piece of content I have to edit, which annoys me because then I use that content in my TikTok and I use that content on the Instagram to like generate awareness for the podcast. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna come back when I'm done with the podcast. Podcast is done, we're breaking for dinner. Mum and I are cooking. I saw this recipe on TikTok and I'm filming it for you guys. It is stuffed veggies with meat and sauce and so far it looks good, I'm excited. Mum's just you. currently you. washing the rice. And dad is being a supervisor. No, I mean, I'm buggered today. <laughs> what did you do today? Well, my phone didn't work today, so I couldn't film any of it. I was spewing. Oh, no. Went, went down content, to the love shack. A content creator's nightmare. Oh, there was nothing was going right today, so. My brother, 
with his excavator. We pulled out the tree, the tree stump, and Dad, we prepared the concrete. Off. I don't know why it's doing. Oh, it's I sent to your. Um, He's called Yaya to confirm the recipe, but I'm following my girl Fadan's. I'm gonna put Fadan's recipe and I'll put my recipe in the notes as well. But let's show you in the, when they're finished. I just need to show you guys this because look at how pretty it looks. <laughs> and it's raw, so we have to cook it, but I'm, I'm impressed with us. I think we nailed it, mum. Awesome. Dinner is served, guys. Look at this. We've got the stuffed veggies, salads and bread, dad's plate, mum's little plate. Carla, Mel, we made this in the air fryer, guys. First time using the air fryer. Do we like the air fryer? Mm -hmm. I don't know yet. I'm going to fill mine and then I'm going to taste it. <laughs> so I did not hit my goal of finishing the vlog tonight, but that's okay. I did a lot of it and it's 10 past midnight. So I'm going to go to bed and wake up early and do the rest. Wake up early, go to the gym. It's so frustrating looking at my fucked up content from last week when I toggled the ca camera settings. <laughs> I have to laugh, otherwise I'll cry. The perfectionist in me is burning. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's Sunday. I already have a lot of washing to do, but that's all from Friday. I did all my washing like Thursday, Friday night. Anyway, we're just going for a walk. I was gonna go to the gym, but it's actually such a beautiful day. I just think my exercise today can be a walk. So we're going to put this on, and I said the W word, and now Franklin is losing his shit. Are you excited? Say hello to everyone on YouTube. This is meant to be a lifting outfit. I fucking hate the padding. I'm going to edit the whole, oh, I'm going to edit the rest of the vlog when I get back. But I'm going to set myself a reward today. If I can edit the vlog by 1pm, I'm going to reward myself with an Apple Watch. Because do you guys remember, I used to have a Fitbit. And then my Fitbit died. It would literally die within like 10 minutes of me charging it. And I'd charge it and then I'd put it on my wrist and then it would die. And then I'd charge it, I'd put it back on my wrist and then it would die. And so I'm like, maybe I don't get a Fitbit. Maybe I get an Apple Watch. And I've been thinking about it and I know it's a big purchase. So I've really been thinking about it. And so that's my reward to myself today. We are going. It's just at the front. Here, friend, come get your lead. Look at him take himself there. <laughs> we're going, we're going. Put on these ones, hey. It's hot outside. It's very hot outside. And you know, it's Aussie summer when you need the mortine. So many fucking bugs. My favorite meal of the day. See you guys? Ask me why. Why? Because it gets made for me. <laughs> You're a cutie. You know what? I think I need to set a challenge for myself or a reward for myself every time I edit because your girl got it done by two o'clock. And you know what that means? We're going to buy an Apple Watch now. But first I need to eat lunch because it's 1.30 and it's currently exporting and then we'll chuck it into YouTube and we'll get ready. Just microwave this. This is our dinner from last night, guys. And then, oh, look what else we have. I don't know where it is. Oh, the fridge is a bit jam packed because we've made it. We're not doing takeaway this week. So we bought enough meals, but once we start cooking, it'll die down. This is what we're doing. Because someone someone commented on TikTok saying prosciutto and the goat's cheese. So we're gonna taste test. We're gonna eat this first though. What I've done is cut it out of the skin. Why? Because I don't want the zucchini. Put it into the bread. Delicious. Enjoy. I am. <laughs> Now for the best part. That was entree, guys. Oh. Look at how cute it is. Wait, come in the camera and eat it in the camera. <laughs> Tell us the review. <laughs> is it amazing? Mm. Does it take it to the next level? Mm -hmm. Is that what we were missing last week? Mm. These are just so cute, these little balls. Balls of happiness. That's Dad's. That one's not as perfect. Don't worry about Dad. Dad will eat it. Are we going for it? Thoughts? Feelings? What? What is the vibe? Crunches in the prosciutto is complimenting it. A sun-dried tomato with that meat. But the flavours, very nice. Mm. All right, my turn. My turn. I'm on the lookout for a new mum. If anyone wants to step in <laughs> as my mum. Are you going to ditch me just because of that? Look at how she eats the Kit Kat. Yeah, you eat finger by finger. I don't. That's how I eat it. I break it up like dad. Finger by finger. I didn't realize that there was an instruction. There was no instructions on there how to eat it. 
You just annihilated the Kit Kat. <laughs> that poor Kit Kat. You know what? We need another one. Yes, we do. All right. Well, they're babies. So this is the dress that I wore that day I recorded the podcast, but in black. And I also have it in white. Only problem is it's see-through, but I've got underwear on. I have skin colored underwear on, but I don't even care. I'm gonna go now, we're gonna go to JB Hi-Fi and I'm gonna buy an Apple Watch. And I'm hoping that this might be the miraculous kick up the butt that I need because I've even noticed since I stopped wearing my Fitbit, I stopped going for extra walks or maybe I just sat around a little bit more. Like I just became overall a little bit less active than what I was. And I think I've spoken about it before, but when I wear it, I t just tend to be like more inclined to be the best version of myself. Anyway, let's go and buy one. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. I've wanted one for ages. I just don't know what to say to the guy. Which one should I get? Because there's so many to choose from. Shopping is complete. I have a big haul. Firstly, I already did an unboxing on TikTok. But I bought an Apple Watch. Ah! This is my present to myself. My Christmas present to myself. I'll set that up and I'll show you when it's done. Then I went in the lolly shop and look at these very cute little kinder chocolates that I got. A snowman. How cute are they? A little ice girl and a little penguin. Some new fairy floss because I threw all the other one out. And some teeth. And then I went to Coles. My phone was in that bag. I don't know why that happened. I got dry roasted edamame beans, guys, in salt. I got prawn crackers for a review. Delicious. Then I got these Asian lollies. It says, a refreshing Asian dessert, fruit jelly cup. And then I also got wasabi peas. Homemade pizzas, this is my one. It came out so nice. I'll show you the rest. This is mum's. This one's dad's. Got my cross section, look at that. <laughs> look at the layering. <laughs> He's proud of it because he made it. It was fun making pizzas as a family tonight. I enjoy it. <laughs> I have capsicum, hot salami, and olives on mine, and cheese, and it's so good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm currently just setting up my watch, and guys, it's taken me so long because I had to update my phone to the new iOS, and I had no storage left. I think I also probably need a new phone. This is an iPhone 12, by the way. Like, I bought this outright, and I haven't bought a new phone since I bought this one. I don't necessarily always need the newest iPhone. Let me just agree. I think I probably need one with bigger storage because this one doesn't have a lot of storage and I take a lot of photos and a lot of videos and a lot of content and I download a lot of stuff. But anyway, I'll show you when it's ready. I'm so excited. You can tell I updated my phone because look how big the numbers are now. What the freak? I don't like that. Maybe I need to change it in my settings. I've got my watch on and I love it. I just got plain black because really I'm not here for it to be like fancy and I'll never wear it when I go out out do you know what I mean I just really want it for my sleep my steps and just to keep me a little bit more accountable but I'm really happy that I got it for myself I wanted it for so long and I'm curious to see how it goes because I loved my Fitbit and you guys would have seen I loved my Fitbit but um yeah it just wasn't wasn't working in the end I am going to put on my PJs when I have a shower I put on my PJs and get to bed I love you guys. I was reading some of the comments on my YouTube vlog tonight and some of you were like, I didn't even notice the blurry footage. Thank you for making me feel less bad about it. You know what? That really triggered my unrelenting standards and perfectionism. <laughs> it's something with therapy that I've gotten better at tackling, but sometimes she comes out to play. <laughs> And it's funny because I know it's me, but it's like another version of me that holds me to this stupid standard. Like, people make mistakes. I'm going to make mistakes. And I fucked up, but I learned. Anyway, I am exhausted, so I'm going to call it a night. And I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm so excited to go and do a workout with my, with my Apple Watch. I nearly said Fitbit. I've got it on charge. I'm going to sleep with it and I'll see what it says during the night. Because I miss seeing my sleep score and stuff. I'm excited. Happy Monday, guys. We have a busy morning today. I need to go to the gym, quickly come back, and take Franklin to his vet appointment at 9.45. Currently 6.30, so i got time. I just also brewed some bubble tea because it's going to be another sunny day here. And I figured that doing it and then putting it in the fridge makes it taste a lot better. So when we're ready later, I made some for Mum and I. We can grab it. So let's head to the gym. I'm back with the non-supportive bra. <laughs> I'm just lucky that I don't do any kind of like jumping or running because one, I don't enjoy it, but two, I wouldn't be able to wear this top. And I feel like at least I can still wear it on like a walk 
or to a weight day, which is what we're doing. And I feel so excited because I got my Fitbit. Workout is underway, guys. I'm a bit puffed out, but I am in shorts, so I'm not sweating too badly. I'm just doing a lower body day. I've done my squats, my RDL, and I'm doing all my accessories up here in this room. The music's super loud out there, but I wanted to film. Anyway, I'm just copying my program that my coach has written, and I'm having the first workout with a watch, and so far I love it. I don't understand the rings yet, and I'm just happy about it. But we've got about 25 minutes before we leave to go get Franklin, so I'm gonna quickly smash out the rest of it now. Hopefully the vet is happy with the progress. I feel like it's a little bit better, but we'll find out. He was such a good boy. So the cream that we had and the fish oil supplement has not worked really as well as we wanted it to work. I know it's really hot. I've got the aircon on. I've got the aircon on. Yeah. He's really panting. And I knew that it hadn't really gotten any better, and so she's like, let's do another test for something fungal. So they plucked a little hairs from his ears. And she also gave me a shampoo to do daily just on the skin on his ears. 14 days, leave for five minutes and rinse it off. So I fucking hope this works because the next step, if this doesn't work, is to do a biopsy. But she said they have to cut a chunk of his ear off. <laughs> but I'm going to manifest that this is going to make it better. And maybe we'll put some sardines in this food. Maybe you want some sardines? Very late breakfast. This one's mum's, this one's mine. Now that the weather is nice, I'm gonna start eating my brekkie outside as well. This was something I used to do when I was really depressed because it would bring me joy. And it still brings me joy. And so, taking advantage of the sun when you can take advantage of it. Had to leave little Franklin inside, otherwise he'd be all over me right now. <laughs> Mum and I. I'm not heating mine up either. Pizza is definitely better cold. What do you guys think? It tastes so good the next day. I just had a call with my manager, have been replying to YouTube comments, edited my next video for Ect Apparel. Hi, Mum. Hey, honey. <laughs> Pizza is slay. Is it? Mm -hmm. today, huh? mm. It's so weird because I feel like I'm not ready for the day until I have a shower but I've worked up until this point I just needed to I don't know revitalize myself because I got my ECT content approved and I did a couple of other like planning and stuff for YouTube and the podcast and I'm really excited because I have so many good episodes coming up and I'm just trying to sort out my schedule because I'm going away next week which is that exciting opportunity that I can't tell you guys yet you'll see in the vlog next week but I am going away and so I'm trying to sort my shit out because I'll be away five days and that just impacts everything. <laughs> it impacts my YouTube channel, it impacts my podcast, it impacts any brand deals that I have. And so I'm just trying to get it all sorted before then. I'm going to quickly run to the shop because I need apple juice for Bircher. <laughs> and some of you have given me really good advice, firstly on the Apple Watch, about when to charge it and whatnot. And others have given me good advice on the yogurt situation. So I think I'll stick with the Chobani vanilla. I think that's the one. And then... We'll come back and we'll do some work. Do you guys put a passcode on your Apple Watch? Because I've put a passcode on mine, but I don't know if that's like what I'm meant to do. Anyway, it's so cool. I'm just really happy with it. I forgot to say, I am in this dress. This dress is so old. I think I need to do some more summer shopping. Maybe I should do that because I'll need clothes for the trip. Typical Melbourne weather. Already raining. I'll give you a little haul. I only bought juice. I bought the best apple juice in the whole world. And then I also got the fam and orange juice as well because we do like orange juice. This one does have pulp in it. The family like pulp. I personally don't like pulp, so I bought my own nudie one with no pulp. I don't know, something about just the floaties in there. Don't, don't do me any um good. <laughs> I love fresh juice. I'm making dinner tonight. We're having that vodka pasta. I'm cooking and I need a pre-dinner snack because I'm starting to get hungry. And it's quarter to six. And then I'm doing an Ask Me Anything. I haven't done one in two weeks and I feel a bit nervous. I don't know why. I'm gonna quickly cook. And look how good it came out. Also, we used the air fryer for the garlic bread. How good? 
ask me anything is done. I don't know why I was nervous. I think I was worried I was going to get trolled. <laughs> I got a lot of hate comments last week, guys, more than I have had ever. And it really like got to me, I think it's also sensitive. And I was just worried that if I opened the question box, I would get more hate, but I didn't. Also, I'm letting Franklin sleep in my bed because he had a traumatic morning and I just think he wants to be close to me. I don't know if you can hear him. I love you. He's passed out. <laughs> it's actually pretty muggy tonight. Also day one with my Apple Watch. I'm so happy. <laughs> Good night guys. I'll see you in the morning. We're gonna wake up and go for a walk with mum first and then I'll go to the gym. I think that might be the new morning routine because I just can't seem to wake up at 5 a.m. anymore. See you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday, good morning. I did wake up one time. We're going for a walk first and then I'll go to the gym. You ready for a walk, Frank? This morning is exciting. I've got a meeting at 10 a.m. with my manager. I've got a meeting at 1 p.m. with a possible editor exciting and then i've got a meeting at 4 p.m with my therapist it's not a meeting it's just therapy and i can't wait all right let's get you ready i'm so excited let me see how handsome you look good boy good job mum's on the phone we're meant to be going also i did not charge my phone last night i didn't plug it in so annoying She's so cute, she's got her hat on. Maybe I should wear a hat, it is sunny. Walk is done. I had to have a little 10, 15 minute break at home because I didn't charge my phone last night. So I had to get my phone to at least 30% because my program is on my phone. Let's go do this workout. I'm actually already hungry. I should have probably had a snack because doing the walk and then the gym is gonna make me really hungry. Something to keep in mind. I'm already tired. I think I needed a second coffee maybe. Let's go. That was a good workout. I'm gonna quickly make us breakfast, do my journaling, and then I'll log on for the first meeting. And then I'll have a shower after that. Cause I'm cutting it fine. I'm cutting it a little bit fine today. Hi Frank. Hello. Hi. Were you asleep? You tired after our walk? Mum's mine. Franklin's. <laughs> I just cut them up. Look how he's waiting. Here you go. You're welcome. There you go. She's on the poo. Showered, guys. I have to quickly go past the house, which is cool because I can show you a quick little update. I will make a better video for TikTok though because I can use the green screen feature. I've got to get the measurements of the wardrobe. So I'm looking at a storage solution for in there just to maximize the space because at the moment it's just got one shelf and then that rail. And so I want to see that. And then we're going to go past the PO PO box, the post office. I mean, a t-shirt and shorts. Also, I was having mad troubles at the gym this morning because my workout was not working and it kept causing my workout. And I'm like, what the hell? And then it turns out, it turns out I had it on my wrist the wrong spot so it's meant to be like flush with your wrist and I had it like against my bone my wrist bone so I think I had it like there when it's meant to be like there so I'm at the property we have some updates the floor in here is looking a lot better thank god and look at this the wall is out and it just looks so much better we have the heating and cooling going in now. Wow. And this is how much it's opened it up. So good. Whew. Okay, I've gone to the shop. I went past the post office. My Elite 11 package was there. I'm doing a collab with them next week. And they're also the podcast sponsor this week, which is very exciting. I love them so much. They really just believe in me. And they believe in the podcast and it just makes me love them so much. And yeah, I'm just grateful. I'm so grateful. And so I've got very exciting stuff in here. And then I did a quick trip to Woolies to grab some groceries and I got giveaway prizes. Because I've got to pack my giveaway this week and I've got a very busy next few weeks coming up. So I just wanted to buy enough boxes for all the giveaways. So yes, let's eat because I'm really hungry. I'm making some tea. This straw is meant for the um, cup, but I wanted to split the mixture. Having the leftover pasta. 
So I'm going to show you the old floor plan of the property because I just had to review this. Basically, you can see everything here. We have the lounge, kitchen, meals, bed one, bed two, bath, laundry. We had that wall removed and I'm going to show you the new proposed layout. So they were actually wanting to extend the master bedroom here, that rope and then move this bedroom's robe over here, but I don't wanna do that, it's gonna to be too expensive, so I've said no to that change, but I did agree to take that wall out, so that's already gone, you guys would have seen that today. We're going to turn the kitchen into this very cute U shape, which I'm very excited about, and then the laundry is getting some storage because there is no storage in here at all, but these changes are gonna make a huge difference to the property, and I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys are interested in like costs and things like that, but if you are, let me know and I can try and include some detail along the way. Or maybe at the end I can share with you what it was like. Because there are definitely areas, and I'm noticing this, where, like for me, taking out that wall was worth the money. For me, that wardrobe, extending that wardrobe is not really worth the money. The wardrobes in the bedrooms are decent size. I'm putting in some more storage in the laundry as well and into the kitchen. And so the robes for me aren't like a top priority, but other things that are a high priority will become high priority. And I think that's probably the key when renovating because you don't want to get carried away and then end up spending so much. And I've got a pretty strict budget and I want to stick to it. <laughs> anyway, I'm feeling a bit gross because I haven't washed my hair. And oh, the poor editor who I was going to meet with today, her dog ended up being in the vet unwell so I, we moved the meeting to Friday I said I fully get having a sick dog trust me I get it I hope that he's okay I hope that you're okay and I'll see you Friday so I'll give you an update when we get there and I'm just doing a whole heap of stuff before my therapy appointment at four o'clock I can't wait to see you I actually feel a lot better today than I did in the last appointment or even last week but it's important that I tell her about last week as well <laughs> and maybe just let her know about the hate and all that stuff so she can give me some more pep talks <laughs> look what I just got I don't have the actual products because they're in the freezer. I just got PR from Little Moons. You know the mochi that I love? And look at this. Look at all the flavors that they have. We only have passion fruit, mango, chocolate, and honey roasted pistachio in Australia. But they have coconut, raspberry, salted caramel, golden blonde chocolate, and ice latte. Uh, when can we get them in Australia? Anyway, you guys know that I love these and I went to so many Woolworths trying to find this freaking passion mango one and that's my favorite one and they sent me two of every flavor but I'm just so happy about it because what the hell? What the hell? Also, I have therapy in literally three minutes but I called my hairdresser to see if I could change an appointment because I had booked an appointment for the 1st of December but I'm actually going to be flying to Sydney that day and she tells me that she's fully booked. The receptionist tells me that they're fully booked till Christmas. And I was like, great. <laughs> and I'm just worried because that hairdresser has been my hairdresser for years. Even when I lived in Sydney, I found another Sydney hairdresser. But uh, I would sometimes fly to Melbourne and she would cut my hair or do my hair. And I don't really have difficult hair to do. But I have a lot of hair and I also need it cut properly because it's short. And you can't really hide a bad haircut. I just put a post up on my Instagram seeing if anyone can like recommend a hairdresser and I'm just freaking out because I need my hair done before Christmas and I already need a haircut and it's not that serious <laughs> but it is at the same time. My hay fever flared up really badly while I did that because I went for a walk. I'm just planning out the next two podcast episodes. I'm recording Thursday and Tuesday this week, which is very close together. We're going to go eat dinner now, though. My eyes are so itchy. I get really bad hay fever in springtime, and it has been all right until this week. Look how red my eyes are. We've got a delicious meal here tonight, guys. One of my favorites is steak and mushroom sauce. We also need some salad. How good does this look? An icon, mum. Thank you. You're welcome. Sugar-free Sprite. Dinner is so good. I was just saying to mum, I would go out and order this. Like if we went out to dinner, I would definitely get like the steak, the mushroom sauce. Mm -mm -mm. I'm a medium rare type. <laughs> Gonna have a shower and get into bed and call it a night. Done my own head in trying to figure out how I'm gonna do the audio for this ad that I'm filming tomorrow. It's a Christmas ad. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so cute but what I've said I would do is actually really hard I also think I found a hairdresser there was some really beautiful hairdressers that got recommended to me so thank you if you sent me one freshly washed hair and <laughs> it's a 
blood moon tonight or eclipse whatever you want to call it and my sister has a telescope and so we went in the backyard and I was taking photos on my phone through the telescope and it looks so clear and then I've come back inside and it's laughable <laughs> but I tried I tried I tried really hard that one's kind of a little bit better but yeah she's got a full telescope it's very cute I love space I'm just mesmerized by it. I think it's the coolest thing. <sighs> anyway, good night. We have a busy day tomorrow. I've got two brand deals to film. And then what else am I doing tomorrow? Mom and dad have the day off work, so party. No, I don't have the day off work. I've still got to do stuff. And then oh, I need to post a giveaway because I got the box today. So I've just got to pack it and send that off and get ready for the podcast on Thursday. We're going to do better this week. We're going to have a vodcast because I'm not going to make the camera blurry. <laughs> Happy Wednesday guys. I actually felt that therapy hangover last night and it was weird because it wasn't an exhausting therapy session but I guess sometimes it can have that after effect. We're gonna go for a walk. So I didn't tell you guys but every day I have to wash his ears with this shampoo or maybe I did tell you guys I can't remember and I washed them for the first time yesterday and he's like not the biggest fan of the bath or getting his ears wet. I just looked at his ears and I'm like, fuck, it's still not better, but it's just been one day. So it might be better by two weeks, but I've got to do this every day. It'll be all right, but let's get changed and get him ready and head off. We are ready. You're not going to grab your lead? You're going to grab your lead? Oh my goodness. It's so hot. Franklin, how is that? Have some water, honey. Have some water, please. The weather is so nice. Dad's home as well. We we haven't had breakfast yet, but we're preparing dinner. What'd my you... special cave bananas. Cute. And where are you going today? Going to see the specialist today about more gums. Okay. Well, you look very handsome. Give us a fit check. Oh, yeah. All right. Give us a fit check. I love my new balance. Cute. So I was going to put the shorter shorts on. I thought, not too much heavy legs. So I thought I'll wear the long ones. <laughs> then I put this one on. You look very nice. Oh, thank you. You look cute. I got to look good for the dentist. <laughs> we actually just filmed a Christmas brand deal. And mum and dad were in it. How was it, guys? Awesome. I rate all of them 10. Dad, Dad, we're not talking about what it is yet. Oh. <laughs> not yet. Okay, so firstly, I didn't have a mask. And it's weird because I came, I went to my ultrasound. I went to this same doctor literally on Friday and they didn't ask me to put on a mask or wear a mask. But I was like, I don't have one. Can you, can you give me one? And <laughs> she made me pay a dollar for this. I was like... You know what? Fair game. Get your bag, sis. Anyway, the results are normal. Ultrasound normal, blood test normal. My iron is okay too, which I'm really happy about. And I kind of felt that because I haven't been feeling like lethargic or tired. I mean, I have been feeling like a little bit mentally tired, but not physically tired. Anyway, she said, we now know the pill is not working because that's what it, that's what it came down to essentially. Either there was a hormonal thing, something wrong with my thyroid, maybe something more wrong with my ovaries and my uterus and whatever else. But no, it's just the pill that I was on is very, very low dosage. And I've been on that pill for quite a long time. I've changed pills maybe three times in my life. And this one seemed to work the best because it didn't impact my mental health as much and it also alleviated all of the terrible period symptoms that I felt. But she actually recommended an IUD. So anyway, we're getting to the bottom of it. Time to go home and eat now because I'm hungry. I did the whole. You've got food at home again. I really wanted Picaro, but maybe I get that for myself on Friday. This is last night's dinner in a sandwich. It's so good. Also, my whole family just went to Costco and I'm jealous, but I've got to edit this content. Look at the Costco haul, guys. What have we got, Mum? We've got, oh, mangoes. We bought some cleaning products, some vegetable spring rolls, Mel, fruit. cheese for Mel. What's that? that, that What's that's that? Cheese from France. It's so yum. It's like a sharp, but cheddar-y. 12 delicious. months. It's very orange, guys. This, yeah, in a toast. Because this is yum. We love this. Um, some more of these. <gasps> guys, look the apples. Look at these apples. They oh, look no. like they're that the apples is. from what, what Snow White. What season is that? Oh, I got that. Garlic salt. Sure. Lovely. It's Californian. Great. Yeah. Dad got them for work and for his friends. Some Kranskis he got. Nice. Oh, I have FOMO. I didn't get to go. Anyway, I'm working on this cool content. Good job. We're bribing him with treats while the shampoo sits on his ears. You see it? We're nearly done. 
<laughs> Mum's got the treat here. The way he's just patiently waiting. You cutie. And then I'll just wipe it off with this wet towel. We're at the PO box because I need to check. There needs to be something in there. And I also need to post Cassie's giveaway prize. Pray that the PO box has something in it. Pray. Cassie's prize is off and I bought myself a new glass cover because I smashed it on my phone and I have been using my phone and my nail keeps getting stuck in the cut glass so I'm going to change that but my magpies are actually here guys so let's go feed them. No fighting. Gentle please. Hello. I think this is about to be mum's best meal. We did make it together. We recorded the recipe. Look at this. Ribs, potatoes, salad and look at all the ribs guys it smells so good if only you could smell it through the camera dad's plate loaded it is bedtime guys i need to have a shower it's quite warm here i went on a quick little walk before sunset which was really nice it's gonna start raining again but that's okay made the most of the sunshine i've just been planning the podcast episode it's nearly done i'll finish it in the morning and yeah we did some food reviews tonight we reviewed stroop waffles which were really yum and then dad got these gross marshmallow fluffy things i think it's the same company that does the twinkies Ugh so gross and now i feel sick because that was the last thing that i had in my mouth and the texture and everything was just oh not a vibe good night guys i'm gonna go to bed i'm so tired and i'm very excited for the podcast tomorrow so good night and sweet dreams and i'll see you then rise and shine guys i have made another mistake i've booked an appointment thursday next week and then i had this opportunity come up which i said yes to and i've not realized what i've done and i'm just scared because i'm Going, it's my nail appointment so I'm going to message my nail tech now. Hello Vicky, I don't know if you watch this. And I'm scared she's going to say, I can't fit you in either. We're going to the gym. I had to put the light on because it's very early, it's 6am. And it's like not bright enough that it looks okay in here. Anyway, it's pod potty recording day. We have got a busy day ahead, so we're going to quickly go do a workout. Crazy, because when I got to the gym, it was really hot, the sun was out, I was sweating, it was way warmer, and I've just left the gym clouds everywhere now, and it's a lot cooler. Probably better. That workout was quick. Quick, quick, quick. Which I needed it to be. I'm going to quickly go home, eat, finish the potty app, and get to the recording studio. There's still construction works happening. They've told the construction people to be quiet during the time that I'm recording. I have no idea what they're making. <laughs> I think they're doing a fit out of the entire building next door. Anyway, I thought they were outside the street last week, but they were actually in the building next door, which is weird because I thought it was a soundproof room, but it's obviously not with a glass window at one side. Anyway, hopefully we don't have the same thing that happened last week. <laughs> I've had a shower, I've had breakfast, I've done my hair, done my makeup, put in some earrings, I've got to pick a fit, and then... I'm gonna do a little bit of work and we'll probably leave the house at 10. I'm actually really happy that I'm slowly getting up earlier because it's giving me some more time in the day. And I think I'm feeling quite anxious just heading into Christmas and heading into like the busy period of the year. If I can get a little bit more time in my day, that's kind of bringing me some comfort. But anyway, I'm excited for the podcast episode. I'm very anxious today, guys. Like, yeah, I've got a sore tummy <laughs> about it. Um, I did some journaling, just trying to breathe through it. I know why I'm feeling anxious. Uh, it's not anything in my control, so I need to just fucking chill out. Chill out. I'm ready. Guys, I'm making an effort to wear clothes in my wardrobe that I haven't worn. So I've got these jeans on for the first time. They're a very dark denim. I never wear these dark denim, but we're wearing them today. These shoes. And I'm about to post the ad that I had to redo last week. So... I'll tell you what I did wrong. And this is the really interesting side of brand deals and content creation. So the ad is for Les Mills Plus, which is an app. It's a fitness app where anyone can use it. It's for all fitness levels. You can have no equipment, equipment you can use it in the gym, you can use it at home. I think it's a fantastic option. I think it's affordable for the price. And the way that I think it's affordable is in comparison to what I pay for my coaching at the moment and what I pay for my gym membership. But anyway, you have this app. And so I filmed an at-home workout with mum. We did yoga and I I did not put, so funny, I did not put the instructions, like the class, into full screen. I just had it playing in like the top part of my phone and I had to reshoot it because of that. And so that wasn't specified in the brief, but it's fucking common sense and I probably should have put it in full screen. Anyway, I just had to reshoot that middle part, but it was good because mum and I did another at-home workout and I actually really like it. So I think I'm going to keep it because I like sometimes not going to the gym and there's also like mindfulness, meditation and other stuff on there that I could use as 
as well. And so, yeah, I'm going to post it now. I'm a bit nervous. It's because I'm anxious today. Fuck. What am I going to do? I've got to breathe. Maybe I should do a breathing one on the app right now. I'm going to jump into the app, guys. Oh, 11-11. Make a wish. Okay, that means today's episode is going to be good. That's what that means. Also, my nail tech got me an appointment today, so I'm going after this or later today. Anyway, very happy about that. But uh, I'll jump into the show and then I'll come back. I think I'm going to take myself on a solo date for lunch after this. Well, that was a success, guys. I feel like the video was on. Okay, great. The video was on fantastically. The podcast went really well. There was something happening in my microphone the whole time though, so I hope that it's okay. I guess I'll find out in a second. Anyway, we are going to go get some food now because your girl is hungry and it's 12 o'clock. I was going to take myself on a solo date and eat lunch outside and record a podcast, a podcast, a YouTube video, but I think I'm gonna have to take myself on the solo date tomorrow morning because it's windy as fuck and I need to go to the PO box I need to go back home before heading to my nail appointment. So we're going to head straight home. I think that's the plan. I just need to check the PO box and go into the chemist very quickly. And then we'll head home. That's for dinner. This is what I just heated up. Ribs from last night. I'm just going to eat this with some bread. Tastes so good the next day. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tastes even better. I just had a very quick meeting with my manager and a possible brand collab not possible i think it will happen renovation one it's a tile company guys it's really cool and i got an update on the journal too so i can't give you any more info but we're nearly there we're nearly there i just need to finalize a couple of other things on the pages and i need to do that asap which i think i'll be able to do before the weekend's up and then as i said we are looking at late jan so <laughs> Haven't got the sam first sample yet, but as soon as I get it, I'm going to show you guys. So it's not too far away, but we just have to take into account. Oh, I can't give you any more information. I can't say any more without giving you information about what I've done. But when you see it, it will make sense why it's taking so long. Because we've got like a, another partner involved who are assisting. And it's really cool. It's really cool. Anyway, I'm going to quickly finish doing some emails. And then I haven't started editing the podcast yet, but I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to go get my nails done. So I'm going to leave soon. I feel like I could go for a nap. And I don't know why, because I felt like I got decent sleep. But oh, obviously not. I just came past the Splint Dentist and Bless. They actually refunded me the price of the splint, which I didn't think they were going to do. And they were like, well, we can shave the other splint to make it more comfortable for you. And I was like, I literally cannot wear it. And I think I might even go get a third opinion because the second doctor, the second vet, the second dentist was like, it's not bad enough, in my opinion, for you to need a splint. He's like, I probably would have recommended like occasional Botox in the, the masseter or the if you have TMJ paint. I don't know. Anyway, I definitely think when I'm anxious or I definitely think when, when I'm stressed, I clench. But I don't think I grind my teeth. And I think maybe I used to grind my teeth when I had braces because he said that my canines are blunted. But I also had a metal plate up here when I had braces that stretched my jaw open. And I think my teeth aren't sitting in their natural form because my teeth in their natural form form were very crooked but maybe I do explore Botox in the anyway time to go get the nails done I'm so grateful that Vicky squeezed me in I thought we we're gonna have another hair situation guys I'm with Vicky and we are doing these really fun nails and she's airbrushing them and I'm gonna show you the airbrush process for the last nail on this hand and I've just been sitting here going, oh my God. Every time she's done a nail. <laughs> the whole salon can hear her. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's amazing. It's magic. See that? Obsessed. And then we put it in the light. Still daylight outside. And look at the nails. <laughs> I love them. I feel like these are like the most different nails I've had in a long time. I've never had airbrush before, but big vibe. I am just about to eat dinner. How beautiful is my family? They had it ready for me. I have a sweet potato loaded with chicken, cheese, and sweet chili. And mum is telling me that that's not right. And I said to her, it's like a HSP. And she goes, what's a HSP? <laughs> I think we better take you to get a HSP. Also, I just fed the Maggie's and I filmed it for TikTok and mum likes the nails. Dad loved my nails, guys. He was a huge fan of them. Oh yeah, I love them. 
<laughs> the airbrush look. He wants Vicky to paint something for him. On the back of my U. I think maybe we might just put a beach scene because it is an old fishing box. Oh, is it? Yes, or maybe do some fish with the ocean. It would be nice. I'm ready for bed and I need to give you guys an update. The shampoo on his ears is working. I'm so happy. I was really worried. But I've washed his ears every day, let it sit on there for five minutes, really massage the skin. And the shampoo that she gave me is like, I think antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, but also very soothing. The skin on his ears is nearly back to normal and I'm gobsmacked. Which is a really good thing because obviously it was topical, but that cream she gave us last week did not work. Anyway, I'm just really happy that it's fixed. I personally think that it is <laughs> dry skin. And so what I'm going to do is add some more sardines and like fish oil and stuff into his diet. He's so cute. And we're going to sleep together. Where's my hair at? We have a big day tomorrow and I can't wait to show you guys what we get up to. I've also gone and booked in some extra podcast sessions next week. I'm going to try and get ahead because I want to have episodes over the Christmas break. My mind's on like 100 miles an hour trying to like get everything done. And I haven't filmed another YouTube video. I wanted to film a solo date, but I literally haven't had a chance to go on the solo date, which is annoying because I really want a solo date. Anyway, I'm rambling. Good night. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I have woken up. 7.30. I was really tired last night. Anyway, I can't decide if I should go for a quick walk or if I should go to the gym. I need to come home, get ready for the shoot, and I need to wash my hair. It's not super dirty right now, but it won't look nice in a photo shoot. Also, I have a lot of editing to do today, so that's my plan. Franklin also needed his like worming medication, but that can make him feel sick, and I didn't want him to feel sick for the shoot, so I haven't given it to him, and I need to remember to do that tonight. I'm going for a WALK. -okay. I'm not taking little Franklin because he needs to rest before his photo shoot. I don't want to make him tired. And then when we get back, I need to tweeze my brows. It was sunny when I left and then it got a little bit overcast. But it was actually nice because I'm in leggings. Also, I figured out a better hack, more cost effective, I would say, is to buy the big Chibani, not the little ones, because you can get like four days out of it. Four days of bircher. I'm a professional at the bircher now. Perfect. Mum has a sunscreen. And I have the palm tree one today. I'm on a bit of a time hurry, guys. So let me get ready. I'll show you what we're doing. It feels very weird having pajamas on when you're not going to bed. But anyway. I think my makeup came out good. I'm just going to re straighten my hair and then we're going to head off. I don't have Franklin's fit on him yet just because... He'll probably try to bite a hole through it while we're driving. So I'll put it on when we get there and I'll take you guys along. This is where I'm having the photo shoot for Franklin and I. It's called Close Up Co. And they do product photography. But today they are shooting us for Christmas. And have a look at the set. Isn't this just adorable? Hello. Hi guys. <laughs> this is for YouTube. So um, you guys will see the photos whenever they're ready. And this will be like our Christmas, our new Christmas tradition. And look at Mr. Franklin. Come here, Frank. He's running around. <laughs> I don't have any treats left. <laughs> you can probably hear the rain, guys. I'm sorry about that, but that was so much fun. I'm so grateful. I can't wait to show you the photos. She's airdropped me some stuff, which I'll put in my vlog, which you would have seen by now on TikTok. Just so grateful. And I think it's gonna be a new Christmas tradition that I do every single year. All right, I think I need to get out of this and put on some normal clothes now, because I feel like going to sleep or having a nap. And I think I should wear these to bed tonight. Although I did wash my hair and I haven't washed my bed sheets. Do I wash my bed sheets? I don't know if I can be bothered, guys. I don't know if I can be bothered. <laughs> I think I am going to do it. And I think I'm also going to go to the gym. Because I didn't go this morning and I really need to get in a session before my parents go. Because they're going away to the beach again. And I won't have a car and I don't want to stress about going tomorrow. So I'll go today, now, before lunch. And then I'll go on Sunday. I think that's smart. I'm trying to plan ahead. And I didn't wear my watch while I was at the shoot because I didn't want it in the photos. And I think my heart rate was up because I was trying to hold the poses and trying to control Franklin. He was actually such a good boy. I've got all my stuff to be washed in the back. I think I might actually do my gym session first and then take this on the way back because I just don't want to rush my workout. I'm at the gym. It is pouring rain. I was driving and I was feeling so, so, so guilty. And I just need to verbalize this so that you guys can understand what goes on in my brain because right now I'm like, you should be editing. And I, I had the shoot booked in for weeks, but I'm like, you've wasted today. I haven't wasted today because I wanted that shoot done. 
and that was something I planned for Christmas this year and like it's not a waste but the way my brain works is like trying to make me feel guilty because I'm not doing that right now even though tomorrow I'll be editing all day and instead of doing my laundry tomorrow going to the gym tomorrow I'm going to do that now while I've got the car and I'm just trying to be productive yeah it's just interesting the way my brain works but I don't have to feel guilty because it might not look like traditional nine to five some days which is today and I'm going to spend the night editing and I'll edit tomorrow as well and I also have to film another YouTube video so I guess I'm feeling guilty about that anyway we're gonna get there it's gonna be all right I'm literally like sweating I can feel sweat everywhere you know when you sweat a lot from the areas that you don't want to sweat from that's what's happening <laughs> anyway let's pump the AC and let's go to the laundromat and hopefully there's no one in there because I cannot cover up I'm just putting on a drum clean to wash the washing machine before I put my stuff in I'm gonna pop this into wash go home and finally eat something and maybe go to the post office on the way home too trying to be productive while I've got the car here am I a sweaty mess I did a quick little pit stop at the PO box and I need to quickly show you these little Skittles in the package from skincare routine which is a body oil and I actually know the owner of this company through TikTok and she created this as part of I guess her own healing journey with heartbreak and there's rose petals and 24 karat gold in there and I'm so oh my god it smells divine and then I've also got to show you one other thing I did a cup 49 order you guys would have seen my cup 49 ad which was the TikTok, and I loved it so much I had to buy some more things so I bought apple flavor syrup I bought fructose and then I bought mum her own cup because when I make bubble tea for us it's only for mum and I this one's yours oh, thank you I bought it for you Serene who's the owner of cup 49 was like she messaged me yesterday she's like if you ever want any other tea just let me know I said I already did an order <laughs> and she's like you should have just messaged me I said I don't mind paying and supporting you like I actually fully back your product how cute camera died but I had a meeting with a video editor and I'm pretty sure she's gonna watch this vlog so hi Sam and we're gonna trial a video <laughs> Franklin come here so we're gonna trial a video next week and I'm really excited because I wanted originally to find some help for the podcast but that is proving to be a little bit too difficult and so I think start with YouTube and see if that means that I then have more time to maybe do another podcast episode or to invest in other content. Having the house to herself for the weekend. Yeah. Bye mum. See you buddy. <laughs> They're going away guys. Yay. And now I've got to do Telfast. Oh how can you take that? What do you mean? It doesn't make me drowsy. That the other cooked, ones make me drowsy. That cooked me the other night. Party! Carla, we're gonna have a party. Are we? No. Nah, <laughs> See ya. See ya. Bye. Oh, I didn't have too much fun without us. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Make my bed and edit the podcast and vodcast, and then have a shower and start on the vlog. We're getting organized because next week is gonna be busy, and I cannot wait to tell you guys what's going on. I've just been editing. I got Uber Eats. I'll show you what I got. It's very late. I nearly done the podcast vodcast though. Mm. Let's see if it's good. Hope it's good. It already looks better. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> mhm. Mm mm. Great decision. Color had a pizza. Mm mm mm. I am so happy with myself guys. Fully edited vodcast podcast all done and I can go to bed at a decent time which means tomorrow I've just got to make a YouTube monthly favorites which will be up before this vlog so I'm going to film it in the morning edit it first and get that up and then I'll start on the vlog. Anyway I am going to have a shower and then I'll say goodnight. Gosh I'm so blind when I take these off I'm like shit I can't say anything. I'm tired now. Got Mr. Frank there, he's exhausted by the way. Has not stopped like sleeping. It's so funny and so cute. I don't know why that happened, but I had a shower and it's like my hay fever just got bad again. It might be that it's worn off, like this nasal spray has worn off <laughs> since I took it last. Anyway, I'm gonna head to bed. Good night. Thank you for watching this vlog. I will see you guys in another video soon.
Can't wait to show you what we're doing next week. I still can't believe that I'm going. I'm excited and I'm grateful because as always, it wouldn't happen without you guys. And thank you again for just being so beautiful this week. I don't think I really explained, I don't know how anxious I was feeling and just reading your comments and just feeling the support. I literally love you guys, especially my YouTube family. I just feel like we're like this. So thank you for being there for me this week and I'm excited to take you on an adventure next week. Have a magical week. I hope something amazing happens to you. I hope that you kill the week ahead. I hope that you achieve whatever you're wanting to achieve. I hope that you get whatever you're working towards. I hope that something surprises you in a good way. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, a little blooper if you stayed till the end. Franklin says, love you guys. And look, his ears are getting better, I think. Oh, actually, it doesn't look that good. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Good night.